So the first thing I would say is, um, you know, saying I'm incredibly proud of our seniors would be a, a, a massive, massive understatement. Okay, the, the journey that they've had, um, you know, as, as freshmen, they were one and nine football team. All three of these guys played as, as young guys and, and a number of other seniors did as well. Um, I was hired going into their sophomore year. We went two and eight. Um, last year, we had a very, very good football team and had an unfortunate set of circumstances and had some contact tracing that um, forced a number of our key players to sit out the regional championship game. We felt like we had a team good enough last year to make a deep run and possibly win the whole thing. And um, it, all these guys did for four years was just respond to adversity. Um, Mid-season, <clears throat> we, we, we had two losses that back-to-back um, -back where, where we were not looking anything like a championship caliber football team, the state's a state finalist football team. And uh, again, they didn't give up. They, they kept coming, and, and it would have been easy to not be where we are today. Um, you know, when you talk about today's game, um, you know, for, Football and, and, and the momentum shifts in, we, within a game are, are obviously dramatic. Uh, you know, we had a lot of momentum in the first half. They had obviously had it in the second half, and, and credit them. They're, they're a very good football team, obviously, that knows how to win. Um, you know, and just, uh, you know, I think we had some missed opportunities that, that, that um, you know, is going to create a lot of what ifs, you know, in the back of everybody's mind. But, you know, again, just incredibly proud of these young men. Um, you know, DeMarcus is at the end of a, a fantastic career, set a bunch of records for us this year, and in, in a very proud football uh, tradition, rich high school. Um, same thing with Brady. Dean is very high up in a lot of the receiving records, uh, you know, top five in a lot of categories. And, uh, you know, these three guys did a great job. They're up here. Not because they're, they're good football players. They're up here because they're our captains and they're great leaders and they're great young men. And they're going to go on to do big, big things. Um, Dean is going to Harvard uh, to, to continue his football career. Brady's going to Central Florida to play baseball. He's a fantastic baseball player. And um, DeMarcus, someone's going to get a really, really good football player. But that doesn't tell their story. Their story is that they're tremendous young men and, uh, you know, just great resiliency, great character, and um, I know they're going to do big things, and, and I know how disappointed they are right now. But, uh, you know, I can't emphasize enough how proud I am of them. Questions? Coach, you mentioned the momentum shift that you got back to the and they kind of took over in the second. Um, the pooch kick that you guys recovered in that first half, was that by design, or was that just kind of a... Yeah, um, we, we knew coming in that we were going <clears> to <throat> use that at some point in time. I thought our kids executed it brilliantly. Um, but yeah, their they're, you know, they're, they're offense has the ability to grind out the clock. And um, you know, we knew at some point in time we were going to try to steal a possession. And you know, we got a good kick. And uh, I think Ja'Kyla Irving recovered that, if I'm not mistaken. But, um, but yeah, short answer is yes, we knew we were going to do that. Yeah, and I'm a, uh on the catch that was not ruled the catch by Dean, did you call the timeout hoping they would take a look at it more? Is that yeah, and, and and you know we had to hurry up a little bit. It, you know, it was a downfield play. Dean's on our punt team, so it was a combination of um, you know making sure they took a good look at it because it, it, it was a critical time in the game. But um, you know, also that the clock was winding down as well. So. In the first half, you guys defensively were able to get some three and outs that allowed you to kind of fill it down initially. Yeah. Um, how did that kind of change in the first half and the second half for you guys defensively? Did, what were they, were they doing kind of like more, were they kind of wearing the guys down? Maybe yeah, I think, uh, you know, they, 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 have the ability, they have the ability to wear you down. They're patient, obviously. And, um, you know, they're, they're very good at what they do. I mean, they're state championship football team. but. Um, yeah, I mean, I thought our guys did good. It, it, aside from the, the opening drive, I thought our guys played really, really well defensively in the first half. Um, you know, we caused them. It, we, we forced them to punt, I think, three times in the first half, if I remember correctly. Um, it, it, 
that's more punts than they had, you know, in the past couple games. Um, you know, so to do that in one half, I mean, we were playing really, really good football. But, you know, again, they do have the ability to wear you down. They, they have a lot of answers for what you do defensively, and that's something that, that I think the casual observer doesn't necessarily see. Um, you know, we, we were given some different looks up front, and, you know, they've run this offense for a long time, and they know how to adjust to everything, and we're trying to keep them off balance and be one play ahead of them. And, um, you know, ultimately, they, 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 they did a good job making adjustments, and they made more plays than we did in the second half. For any of the players, guys, you guys had the momentum going pretty much the way you wanted to. <clears throat> Can you talk about maybe how it got away from you offensively? Because you're up 21, 28 7, I think, and then no more points. Any thoughts on how that momentum got away offensively? Um, I think uh, just like the penalties, I kind of, we were kind of shooting ourselves in the foot, you know, offsides. Um, you know, that kind of screwed us, but. I mean, we just had to keep on going and keep our foot on the gas on offense from an offensive standpoint. And I mean, they adjusted to us pretty well, but we still had opportunities to make plays and we didn't. And, um, you know, I mean, it sucks, but uh, I mean, sometimes you got to take the blame. And our offense could only, I mean, our defense could only hold them for so long. You know, we can't just rely on everything on the defense to stop them because they have a, obviously a really powerful offense on the ground. Um, so I mean, we have we had to um, with that twenty-one point lead, we had to like keep on going. We couldn't just uh, lay down for that and uh, rely on our defense. But we had to spot our defense a couple points there, and we did. Marcus, what are you feeling right now? You've been you were very emotional. Um, at first, I was I was fine, but then we we really killed ourselves. I'm I'm cool now, but. If we had been playing the same, we came here to lose. So, yeah. Dean, can you just talk about that that catch, not catch, or whatever? Just, I mean, do you, 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 you know, you, rules are different for different levels. Do you, do you think it was? I mean, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but um, I believe I caught it. But at the end of the day, that's life. I think it's just going to make us stronger men. I think we deserve this more than anyone else in Ohio. Uh, we've worked so hard towards this, and um, to come up short, it's heartbreaking. Um, right now, I just, I just feel kind of numb. It's not really sank in yet, but um, I'm not, I'm not worried about the catch. That's just what was meant to be. What's happened was uh, just destiny, and um, I think this is just going to make us stronger men, um, motivate us for next season, and I'm looking forward to watching us win the state championship next year. Coach, they are. Uh... You, you alluded that people don't see the complexity and the difficulty of playing them. When they get down there, fourth and goal at the one, yep. and then they go for two, there's so much you have to deal with to tackle the tackle. Yeah. And they didn't go tackle the tackle because they had those other options. Can you just talk about the difficulty? Yeah, yeah so first of all, I thought it was a great play call by them on fourth down. Um, you know, uh, you know, they had a great fake. We had a bunch of guys, <laughs> you know, if they, if they would have handed it off there, we probably would have stopped them. And, you know, our guys were coming off the ball with, with attitude and effort and everything else. And I mean, it was it was a really good play call. But but yeah, um, you know, they, they they got the ball on the perimeter, and you know the the thing is, you have to commit so many resources to stopping the inside run game that that it makes you vulnerable, and you have to almost be perfect for for those perimeter plays, particularly. If it's only a three-yard situation on, on, on a two-point uh, conversion attempt. Being a lot of meeting people, but game's over. Just being honest, um, how, how did um, how did that transpire? You know, what, what, yeah, you, you know, again, I think um, um, you know Brady alluded to it. I, I just glanced down here. We, we we had eight penalties, and it wasn't a huge number of penalty yards necessarily, but um, you know, a five-yard penalty puts you behind the sticks, and and. Uh, um, you know that there were a number of times in both halves where, you know, I felt uh, early on we drove down. <clears throat> we had first and ten. I, I don't remember the exact yard line, but it was in the red zone. Um, you know, maybe maybe twelve or fifteen yard line, and we jump off sides, so it's first and fifteen. And then, um, you know, we, we we end up missing a field goal, so so we don't get points out of it. Um, you know, that's a that's a huge turn of events with one five yard penalty. 
you know what I mean, we, we, which, which um, you know, the net result, um, you know, it, it, it catches up with you. So, you know, if we can, if we can, if we can get points there, you know, the outcome is likely different. But, um, but that wasn't the only time. There were other drives where, um, you know, we jumped off sides or, you know, um, you know, we had a couple drops. Okay, we, 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 we needed to do better there. And I know, I, you know, I know our guys are disappointed about that. And, you know, those little mistakes add up over the course of a game against a good football team, obviously. So they yeah. obviously needed um, three touchdowns to come back and get yeah. even with you. I thought it was important that the first one they got, they got what they would probably say is off schedule. I don't think they played yeah. more than 50 yards on you. Talk about the importance of that. Yeah, the comeback coming as quick as yeah. Can. And again, on the um, you know they, they've. You know, we knew they had the ability for big plays. I mean, I mean yes, they grind, they could grind the yardage out and burn the clock and all those things. But it, you know, if, if 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 you watch any number of their games, that they have big runs. Um, you, you know, I, I know you use the term off schedule, and and you know maybe they weren't expecting a, a big touchdown run on uh, on on that one. But um, you know, again, the the complexities of the nuances of the offense, it, it, you have to. You have to put so many resources into stopping certain things, and if you're not perfect or close to it, you know they can crease you for a big run like that. And, and he made a nice play, cut it back, and um, um, you know ended up being a big touchdown play. But you, you know, again, I mean, give them a lot of credit. They're a really good football team. They're well coached. It's a challenging scheme. It's 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 all of those things. And um, um, you know, came down to two point conversion at the end of the game. We you know we had a couple times when we went for a two point conversion, and it's. You know, you're that close. One point is is the difference when you're playing in a game like this. So, yeah, were you concerned there in the fourth quarter once things got that momentum going back up their side that you know that was the kind of a snowball that wasn't you weren't going to be able to stop? Yeah. So, so, so the big thing was they, um, you know, they got the ball back with with seven minutes and some change. I don't remember the exact time. It was it was seven something. Um, you know, and and you know, we, we fully are, are aware on our sidelines that we may not see get the ball back, mm -hmm. and, and and you know we got it back for a couple plays, but um, you know we, we we knew they had the ability to do that, and um, you know at some point you got to get a stop, whether it's you know on fourth down, you know in at midfield or third down and force a punt at midfield or fourth down and goal. You know, at the end of the game, at some point you got to get a stop, and then, um, you know, you need to get a stop on the two-point conversion. <clears throat> so, you know, they score, and okay, we still have the lead. We need to get a stop, and, and then we came up short there. But um, part of the stuff talked about how this has been a journey um, since your freshman year to get to this point. You know, when that when that last pass got incomplete on fourth down, like, you know, what was going through your mind? Like, what were you guys thinking at that point? I mean, I really can't explain it right now. Um, seeing, I mean, I got pressure, I escaped the pocket. I was looking downfield. I mean, no one was really getting open. I saw it kind of the last second, and then uh, I got hit. And I came down with the ball, and it was incomplete. So, um, I mean, watching that clock hit zero, knowing that you run her up, I mean, I really can't put it up in a that into words because I mean the senior class where uh, <clears throat> I mean since freshman year been through so much and like I couldn't be more proud proud of them and we just uh, <clears throat> you know I mean runner up this definitely wasn't what we wanted to do and I just can't really put it into words right now. Okay, we have time for one more. We have the other team waiting. Anybody else have some? You know, if I could just add to that, the, the um, you know. It, in 2007, we were runners up, and, and and one of the coaches on our staff was a senior that year. And it, this disappointment never goes away. I mean, it, it, and and you know these guys are going to look back at some point, and they're going to realize what they accomplished. And, and to be in this position, there there's coaches who coach for 50 years, and there's players who play an entire career without even getting close to this. And there, there's a bunch of things accomplished that these guys need to be proud of, should be proud of. I am proud of them. 
yet it's the most incredibly disappointing thing you can ever imagine if you haven't been here. And, um, you know, to, to, to sit up here and, and, and answer these questions, you know, it, it's hard. It's hard. You know, it's hard for me as an adult, okay, let, let alone these guys. So, you know, again, I mean, they, they, they should be proud of what they accomplished, yet they feel like they let everybody down, and they didn't, you know. So I think that's important to keep perspective there. But any other questions? I know they're in a hurry. Um, you went for two early on, and you continued to throw in the second half, maybe foregoing some chances to run the ball. Was yep. it your goal to be aggressive and trying to stay ahead? That's just how we play. Yeah, it's just how we play. It's it, it's it, it's it's what we do. We're, we're a multiple offense. We, you know, we have a fantastic quarterback. We 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 have we have really really great receivers. We have a, a great running back over here, and and we we, we are a multiple football team. That that's what we are. Um, you know, it, it, you know, it, it, we're we're polar opposites in philosophy, but that's how we play. It, it, we play fast. We we would try to keep our foot on the gas pedal. Um, you know, if you haven't watched us play, it's kind of interesting. If when we don't play fast, we're not effective because our kids are so uh, they're so in tune with that that, that they're conditioned to do that mentally and physically that. It's almost like if, if we're in a four-minute situation, we're trying to run the clock out and we huddle. You know, it's like we don't know what to do. And and um, so so in short answer to your question, it, you know, it's it's what we do. And uh, um, you know, the, the reality of it is, if, if we run a couple more times and burn off 40 more seconds, I don't know that the outcome of the game changes. They get out of the huddle a little more quickly. You know what I mean? It forces them to play. A little, a little faster. That maybe use a timeout a little bit earlier, but um, you know, us playing fast is part of our identity. Hey, we're gonna let these guys go.